Today is May 23rd, 2022. It is day 104 of Blender. And today I'm going to try to do something like this using the array modifier. So what I'll do is, well, well, I don't know. I know there's a way to kind of randomly give colors to things. So I guess I'll have to do that normally because I don't know how to do that. So, but I do know how to get the shape of it. So I'll start with making one. Um, and I'll scale it on the X and I'll go, maybe I'll just model after one, maybe like kind of like this. And what I'll do is, um, I'll go to this front view. Let me do right edit mode by clicking on tab. Um, let's see how I want to do this. So I first want to escape okay click on three well no let me go to edit parentheses turn off my emulate numpad and then click on three for face select and then select this face and then i'll inset it a little bit because you see that there's an inset and um what i see now i see kind of a bevel so it's kind of extruded inwards so maybe on the x if i were to just look at it this way and I'll turn on X-ray mode by doing Alt-C, maybe go to front view, right, and then extrude it E on the X like this. So it looks something like that. Um, then, well, there's kind of, well, this is a little weird because, actually, you know what? I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll extrude, I'll do Alt C, turn on X ray. Go into front view by pressing the button under escape. Um, I should have done three and face select this. Edit mode, front view, and then extrude on the X all the way. So that's how it would be, right? Um, it would be open like that. And then what we'll do is I'll add the doors. So I'll have to do um, a plane and I'll rotate it um, on the Y 90 degrees and then I'll scale it on the Y so it's kind of like this and then just um, I'll turn on snapping by doing shift tab and I'll snap to face or actually I'll snap to vertex so when I hover over a vertex it snaps there um, maybe you want to scale it on the Y a little less and just snap it oh, I should do it here then um, and then probably um, scale it on the Z a little bit G Y to move it with the vertex over here um, on the Z actually so G Z and then maybe scale it or what I'll do is I'll go here edit mode click on two for edge select select this edge and then just grab it on the Z downwards and then do that um, and then if I were to duplicate this, I don't know if it would be the same size, so we'll have to figure that out. So we'll just, um, take this edge over here and just grab it on the Y, G, Y, and just do that. But then it's not that symmetrical, so I'll do the same. I'll just do, grab this on the Y, do something like, I want them to be the same size, so what I'll do is, um, let me see if I could go to front view, I mean right view, and then where do I get my measurements? Over here. So from here to here, um, how do we get a measurement? Okay, so it's 5.79138, but that's not what I want. I want from here to here. That's 1.88552. So 1.88552, um, so I'll make the uh, scale on the Y 1.88552. No, I don't want it to scale to that point. I want it to be the length I needed to be that. Hold on. Okay. Um, location on the Y. I just need it to be... Let me delete this. Um, scale on the Y. 
Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I just have to divide it by 2. 1.88552 divided by 2. Mm, are you sure? Am I sure about this? I don't think so. That wasn't, that wouldn't make sense. Hold on. If I do right view and I go back to measurements and I try to select, yeah, 1.88552 meters divided by 2. So why? Why is it like this? Okay, if I do edge select, oops, on the Y, maybe like that, and then um, I'll do select box and then shift D, okay, yay. Alright, <clears throat> um, there is a little gap in between, which is weird, so I guess what I'll do is um, select this edge and move it on the y a little bit like that and then select this edge i mean select the mesh select this edge and move it on the y a little bit like that kind of like that and then we'll do a shift um actually no i'll just select this oh you know what i should have done maybe i should have joined these together should i have done that Oh, okay, so what I'll do is I'll select everything, do Shift D, make a copy right here, just in case. And then I'll select this and select this and then click on Join, right click, click Join. And then what I'll do is I'll go into Edit Mode and then I'll do three, select the face and then Inset. You know what? No, I don't need it to be joined, I need it to be mirrored. So how do I have... I go to modifiers and I go to mirror, mirror object, this one. Actually, I want the opposite. I want this one to have a mirror modifier and I want the mirror object to be this one. So like whatever I do, this one happens to the other one. So I'll do inset, oops, I'll do three, really? Oh, is it this one? I'm so confused. Select the whole thing, please. It's not that hard. Um, and then... Is this supposed to be working like this? Because why is it not? Oh my god, whatever. Um, I'll extrude. Oh, I should have given it a thickness. And they're also rounded. Hold on, before I do this, let me just delete everything. Um, I'm not sure. So, mirror modifier... this one and then if I add a uh, control B no edit mode let me okay um let me take that out so I do control because there is kind of a rounded edge to it. Edit mode, three, I mean A, control, control B. It's weird because it's not. What if I extrude it? Um, so what I'll do is I'll add a solidify modifier. And I'll turn on my toggle x-ray and then I'll just see it um, kind of be thicker like that. And then in that case then, um, I can select one, turn off the toggle thing by doing Alt-C. Um, I'll do, okay, I'll apply this, I'll do Control a um, let's see. I'm just not sure how the mirror modifier works. I've never used it before. Okay, so if I do... Why is it even... What? <sighs> Whatever. What was I going to do again? I forgot. Okay, edit mode. Control B. Really? Oh, so two and then... Alt Z and then I'll select go 
I'll select these edges then by doing shift and then select. So we'll do control B and then increase the segments a little. Should I do something? I could do something cute like that, but no. Oh my god, that would be a cute door. Or a cute mirror. I don't know, how bevelly should I have it? Alright, so maybe something like that. Here's the thing though. Um, why isn't the mirror modifier working? Oh. I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. So apparently you have to do something. Wait. beveled oh yeah it did work if I press the Y but then there's clipping how do I turn off the clipping I mean and then it's not it's I don't know what's going on man we could scale it downwards um something like that right and then you make it touch the floor. Actually, I'll do Control Z and then just move it down right there to G. Or maybe grab it from. Um, I'll do. Maybe I will scale it down. What? Oh, that's why there's clipping. So if I delete this, what just happened, bro? Okay, whatever. Um, okay. So that works out, I guess. You have some of that. Um, then we have some sort of from here to here type of thing. So kind of like iron things. Iron? Iron? Iron. Iron. I can't even say. Okay, so this one, right? First of all, let me just quickly search up how do mirror modifiers. Whoops. I just need an article. Hmm. An object selector to select an object, usually an empty, which position rotation will be used. Sure. Same place. No, because this doesn't make sense. Okay, never mind. We'll just wing it. Um, okay. Um, so we're trying to do the markings here. So I don't like this. Okay. It's kind of like they're literally not even like, like I don't even know what's going on at this point. I really don't. It's the same size. It's just we have to move them closer to each other. So, um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> G, oh, nice. Okay, so something like that. Maybe what I can do is make this bigger and then just move the little Y over here. Um, it's kind of like that, but I guess it's like, it's bigger. Like that. So maybe scale this downwards. And then 
Just make sure this is touching G on the Y over here. Oh, no, not really. Hold on. This G on the Y. Um, but no, not really. Wait, no. I want to be closer to each other. Okay, this plane is so irritating. But then why does it do that? So it just becomes one big plane that doesn't... I'm so confused. I don't know what any of these things do. Okay. I'm very confused. Very, very confused. Are you kidding me right now? Is that another back? Great, that's amazing. Alright, um, so I'll just delete this. Um, do shift D, move it over here on the Y. Okay, so I think what I'll just end up doing is I'll delete this, right? And I'll just work with one because girl, the patience that I have. Okay, um, I modifier bevel some segments oh i forgot to solidify it so let me do solidify so it actually works um over here something like that and then add the bevel after i solidify it so some segments here maybe not that much maybe i do should be, i don't even know Something like that. Okay. And then what I'll do is, it looks like it's unhinged. So, I'll do maybe scale it. Or move it a little bit on the Y. Kind of like that. Um, it is, though, scale it on the Z. Um, and then we'll move it like that. And then... Um, I'll do, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do shift D, I'll move it on the Y just to have that there, and then I'll select this, go into edit mode, and then I'll select 3 for face select, I'll select this face, I'm going to inset it, so it looks something like that, and then I'll do a control R, everywhere I see, well, let me escape first and turn off snapping, um, by, cl by clicking shift tab um, so then okay I do control R somewhere did I do that already oh oops okay inset maybe scale it on the Y um, do control R and put something kind of over here <gasps> oh I forgot to do old Z Okay, control R, not this again. Control R, put something kind of over here. Um, there's also something. Why does it look like that? Why does it look like that? Oh my god. Oh, it's because I didn't apply the. Jesus Christ. Okay, control Z, control Z, and then apply. The solidify modifier and apply the bevel and then when you do control r it's gonna look nicer now so control r and then it's gonna go through the whole thing okay um hmm, well whatever at this point so something over here or maybe we should have done more i should have done more doesn't look bad does it something there and then there's also something Kind of there. Why does it look like that? Should I have inset it more? I think I should have. So instead of doing that, let me go into edit mode and then I'll click three face select. And now there's no faces really. Oh, whoops. Alright. Um so control Z, control Z, control Z. 
Control C. Control C. Control C. Add him on. Okay. Let me apply the bevel. There is a thickness, right? Um. Oh, it's because I need to apply it here, not in edit mode. Okay. Um, so three, face select, and then I'll inset something. You know what? I don't need an inset. I can do control R. It's just that I don't know. Okay, if I inset something like that, and then I scale it on the Z. So it's something like this, and then move it on the Z, something like that. Maybe scale it on the Z a little bit more, move it on the Z. Um, to be something like that. Scale it on the Y. Something like that. Move it on the Z, something like that. And then I could just simply um, extrude it up outwards I guess or I'll leave it as that is and then I'll just extrude the other part outwards I'll do control R okay but this sucks look how ugly that looks no let me do control Z I'm trying to figure out a way to do this without it being so ugly so there's something Okay, so there's something around here. There's another loop cut around here. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, and then I'll do three face select these faces, or just this face, and then I'll do Alt C and just extrude on the X. As such. So now it looks like that, but that looks weird. Okay. Um. Mm -mm -mm. It just looks so weird. Um. Mm, if I do old Z, right? What if I just take the whole thing and just do old Z and then extrude it a bit on the X? So I want it to be so kind of like that. And then we see if we go into edit mode oh, and turn off old Z. So it's kind of like that, right? Which is kind of what I want. And then instead, I'll do control R. Put something up here, do another control R, put something up here, and then do three for face select, select the space, or maybe I shouldn't, oh actually instead of doing outwards I'll do inwards, so I'll do control R and do something here, control R and do something here, and maybe move it up, G, Z, <gasps> what the heck did I do, G, Z, thank you. Um, three, select this face, and I'll extrude it outwards. So we'll do old Z, and I'll extrude it on the X, kind of like that. If I turn that off, it looks like that. But I need to extrude all the way. So I'll just grab this on the X and just move it over here, kind of like that, right? I'll do shift um, tab, so that way I grab it on the X, it snaps to the vertex because I have it as vertex right now all right this is what I wanted um only thing is I don't think it's that that thick so that's a problem so I think what I'll do is um it's really not that thick so I'll do actually you know what maybe I should leave it as it is but it's like more I don't care Anyway, um, I'll select this, go here, and I'll do another, I'll do the same thing here at the bottom. So kind of over here. Let me do shift tab to turn that off and just move it on the ZGY. 
um, and then I'll do three for face select and then I'll also extrude this do shift tab and then extrude on the X until here all right and then um, comes like the little boxy parts thingies so I'll do something where I I'll select this edit mode three click on this face I'll do shift D and I'll let it go and then I'll click on maybe like I'll call it like one or whatever and then what I'll do is I'll extrude it I'll actually scale it on the Z so that it becomes a little smaller move it up GZ snap to vertex and then I'll extrude this just as much so I'll extrude it on the X just like that and then it appears to have a bevel so I'll do modifiers bevel and I'll add a little thingy there if you could just see it but you can't because it's not its own object whoops okay all right so this we have to make its own oh cuz oh I just forgot to make its own object so this whole thing Whoops. I probably should have made that so I'll just so I'll do control Z. And um I'll just click P by selection, right? Um click on one I'll just name it real. My names are really bad right now. I'll add a solidify. I'll turn it to one so that it goes forward. <gasps> No! Okay, so I'll go to object. Where's object? Are you kidding? Um, oh, here in it. Object mode. So object relations make single user object data and material. So that when I do this, are you kidding? Really? Did I select the wrong one? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so that makes much more sense. Alright, so this one we don't want to have a solidifier. Just want to have one over here um, and honestly I don't need a solidifier what I do need though is to extrude on the no do okay edit um, edit shift tab shift tab to turn it on and then select the whole thing and extrude on this um, X and then do something like that and now it's its own object that we can select so that's good and then I'll add a bevel not a boolean. Let me exit that out. A bevel. And then I'll increase the amounts and also the segments. Um, I just wish it could confirm to this. So I guess this is also rounded too. So that's my bad. Oh my god. Why do I do this to myself? So I guess I'll have to select the edges inside here. So what I'll do is I'll hide this. Um... And I'll just select, I'll click on two and select these edges here. No, just, okay, this edge, no, 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 this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, no, not this one, this one, no, not that one, this one, thank you. And I'll add a bevel, and I'll add kind of the same, but it's not working. Oh, why is it not working now? Okay, so maybe this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. So I add a bevel, you think it would work? Oh, no, it won't. Okay, great. I don't know why. I'm not even going to ask. I just want it to be like kind of the same shape as this, so it doesn't look weird. So then maybe I'll have to go to this shape and then just decrease the bevel kind of like that what do you think okay um and then so that's that right and then there's another thing um i'll just do shift d and then just bring it down g on the z something like that um and i'll scale it on the z so it looks a little you know kind of like that and then there i'll do shift d again and i'll move it g down on the z use vertex snapping and i'll scale it on the X, on the Z, and then GZ, move it down over here. Why is it up there? Hello? Thank you. 
Alright, and so I think we kind of got it, kind of not, I don't know. Um, we do have these things here. I mean, if you just look at it from the front view, I think it's fine. Only thing is, I wish it would be, um, I wish these would be a little, okay, if I do three and I scale it on the Z, I mean, grab it on the Z, maybe that would do something, and then I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, and then that's exactly what I'm going to do on the other side. Um, only thing is, I'll just, just do Shift D, and there we go. Same thing now. Thank God. Um, now I have to do these, like, things over here in the center. So, let me do this real quick. little break hold on that i unpause oh no okay anyway um why does it look unsymmetrical oh uh, okay let me do control z control z control z wait no 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 did i mess up yeah hold on let me grab it on the z a little bit all right and then i'll select this oh it's because i don't want to join them i'll just select everything and then do shift D and then just move it over here. Okay, now that's kind of the same. So only thing is now these little clips. I can't even see what they look like. <gasps> no way, the things had You're kidding me. Okay, anyway, whatever. Um, so it's kind of like a plane question mark. We'll go object data properties, rotate it on the Y 90 degrees scale it way down scale it on the y still scale it move it gz over here um okay g on the x okay and then and then move it all right um so I don't even know. Okay, so I'll turn snapping to face and then GX maybe. Um why is it GZ? Okay, and then All right. Um so maybe scale it down. Um G on the Z. Why is it like that? Okay, and then G on the Y something like over here and then i don't know what does it even look like i can't see 
It's kind of like a spade on the Z, something like that. And it's like, I don't know. It's almost as if it's bent. So there's like a control R here. Let me turn off shift tap G. And just like do something like like that. Maybe I'll add a bevel. Did I wanna go um, maybe a solidify modifier. Am I going crazy? Alright, and then the bevel goes under that. But I wanted the edge to have. Well, you know, it's okay. It just doesn't look as I need it to look. You know what I should do? I should save this. Control S. What's today's date? 5 May 23rd, 2022. Dot blend. Save blender file. Okay, so maybe scale this down. Move it G on the Z. It just looks really odd. Um, let me see if I can look at some other references. Um, I just can't say. What even are those things? All right, whatever. Um, I guess I'll just leave it like that. What do you think? I think I'll leave it like that. I'll do Shift D, bring one down to the Z, and then I'll do Shift D, bring one down to the Z, G Z, and then I'll just select these, Shift D, and then move them on the X. I mean, on the Y. Alright, and then I'll do the little pulls now. So I'll do uh, Shift A, and I'll maybe do a plane. What do you think? I'll rotate it on the Y 90 degrees. Oops, that didn't work. Okay, and then I'll bring it upwards here. I'll scale it on the Y so it becomes like very thin. Okay, and then I'll shrink it, and then I'll turn on snapping, so shift tab, and it should be sets of face, so G, and then I'll do, uh, what is it, X? Where did it go? Jesus Christ. Um, G, over here, okay. Um, and it should be longer, so I'll scale it on the Z axis, and then kind of put something, like, over here, so it turns out that this thing is like more extruded which makes sense so what i'll do is i'll do this ready so i'll move this a little upwards and then i'll just um oh, i don't know i should have okay g on the x no turn off shift tab g on the x Something like that, right? And then, but it goes. I guess that's fine. And then I'll just move this here somewhere. Shift tab to so snap the face. Um.
All right, and then <sighs> um, it's weird because it starts off as um, why is it like that? It's supposed to be on the X after face. There we go. Let me add a solidify modifier to it. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll apply that. So I'll go here, click on apply. And then let me see, shrink it on the Z axis. And then I think that if I go here and I do Alt C, let me do Alt C, Control R, move it over here, do another one, move it over here. Shift tab, remove that, and then maybe I could. Well, not really. So let me do something like Control R, put one over here, and then scale that. But I need one to also be kind of over here and scale that. Something like that, maybe. I'll do right click shade smooth, and then I want the same thing to be repeated kind of over here. So on this thing, right? So over here, I'll do Control R. Nope, that's how I meant. Control R over here. Control R over here. Um, another Control R for a loop cut over here. Do something like that. Do one over here. Scale it kind of like that. Um, and then over here, it's kind of like there's something here. Control R over here. Where it starts in a control R. Oh, there's already one over there. Um, so I'll just do one here, and then I'll take these and I'll scale it on the Y like that that looks weird so control Z um, I need to scale it so maybe control R scale it like that and I also need this to be scaled also but it looks weird oh because I need to do alt and then select the whole thing um, this looks weird I need it to look flat I just need like oh, I need it to look flat, but I need to extend it. So um if I go to right view I don't know. So I'll do control R, another one kind of over here. Probably select these things here. Shift select select this one. Select just this. I scale it, it just looks weird. Yeah, this is what I meant, something like that. Nice. Good, and it's flat, just like I wanted it to be. Okay. And then we have another bullet thingy here, where the cross thing is. So I'll go to right view again. Wait, what happened? I can't see anything. Okay. Control R, um, and I'll do one. Wait, where did the thing go? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so Control Z, Control R, put one right there, and then in the bottom, Control R, put one. Also, are you kidding? Control R, Control R, right there. Do one in the middle, scale it, whoops. And then do one up here. Let's get that one too. Something like that. And then we have one more little thing. I don't even know, I can't see. Um 
Well, I'm not going to bother doing that, so I'll just select, I'll do control R somewhere here, and do control R somewhere like here. Select, I'll do control R in between those, and then select these. Let me go to right view to select a little bit better. Set these edges, and then I want it to scale it. Well, I wanted everything to be scaled differently, so. Um, let's see, I wanted everything. Yeah, kind of like that, like pointy, and then maybe something like over here, and then we could just scale that. Oh, I could have just done. I could have just. Whoa, what happened? I've just selected the bottom edge, so I'll click on 2 and then Alt and select the bottom edge and then scale it. Um, but I just want it to be pointier, so I'll do something like that. But it's even pointier, so what I think I'm going to do... Um, let's look at something. Maybe I can. I can't even see where I'm going. Okay, I'll do the control R, do something like that, and then I'll do three and try to select a small face over here, and I'll grab that face, kind of like that on the Z axis. Right? So it looks kind of like that. And then I'll just move this a little upwards. Oops. Move this a little upwards here. Um, and I think. That does it. Um, yeah. I think that's good. Um, let me see if it's different. It's the same way up here. So I'll go into edit mode again, Alt C to turn on my x ray, and I'll just grab one of these. I'll actually scale and then click on three and then grab one of the faces. Or at least I'll try and grab one of the faces. And then grab that, something like that. Or maybe I should have just moved that down a bit. And then grab one of the faces, grab it like that on the Z. And then maybe shrink everything. And then maybe shrink this a bit so it's pointier. Kind of like that. Turn off Alt Z. Alright. Um, okay, and then I'll just duplicate this a few times, so I'll duplicate one over here, so G, Y, so it's on the same thing. Um, I'll do Shift D, and I'll do another one over here, and, whoops, um, Shift D, bless you, do one over here. Shift and do one over here. Um, but this one should be G Y over here, maybe. All right, and then there's something. I think that's it. Okay, so now to the actual thing here. Let me move this on the Y over there. Um, so there's a pattern. So for this, okay, so let me shift D, G, Y, duplicate, just to have a copy. Okay, so for this here, um, I'll do tab, I'll do three, look at this right there, and I'll inset it because there is an inset. Um, I'll just scale it on the, uh, X. There we go. And then I'll probably pull it, put it a little bit down. So I'll extrude, so I'll do Alt-C and extrude on the Z a little. So it looks a little bit like that, like indented like that. And then how to kind of replicate this pattern is the question. So maybe what I'll do, I don't know if I could do this. Hold on, let me think. 
Let me think. Um... Okay, I could do an array modifier. Um, hold on. 